Start off by adding an empty cube. This will serve as the effector later on. Add a plane and in edit mode and vertex select, click M and merge at center. Go into front view and with the single vertex selected, extrude and trace out the outline of the first vase. For the last extrusion, click N and set the X position to zero to snap it to the center. Add the subdivision surface modifier, duplicate in object mode, and then go into edit mode to adjust the shape to make the second vase. Select one of the vases and add a screw modifier to it and turn on merge. Then copy this modifier to the second vase. After this, apply all the modifiers. Add the cube and add the geometry node to it. Add an object info node and set it to one vase. Plug geometry into geometry of the group output and then duplicate the object info node and set it to the second vase. Add a set position node between the object info and the group output. For the morph effect, add a sample nearest, sample index and a position. Set the float to vector in sample index and from the second object info node, plug geometry into geometry of the sample nearest. Index from sample nearest to index of sample index, position into value of sample index and geometry of object info to geometry of sample index. Add the mixed color node and connect results into position of set position. Duplicate the position node and plug it into A of the mixed color and value from sample index into B. And when you play with the factor slider, you can switch from one shape to the other. To use an effector to control the morph, Add an object info and select the cube empty from the start. Add a position node and a vector math node. Plug position and location into the vector math node and add a separate XYZ node and connect that to the vector math node. Take the Z output from the separate XYZ node and plug that into the factor of the mixed color. When you move the empty on the Z axis, this controls the morph. You can also change from add to subtract to switch the morph. Now to add the transition effect, duplicate the set position node and place it after the group output. Add the normal node and a vector math node. Plug the math node into the offset on the set position and the normal into the vector math. Change the operation to scale and add the flute curve. Plug value into scale and z from separate xyz into the value of the flute curve and set the flute curve to zero and create the shape you would want and it the effector for the final move. Comment part 2 if you also want to know how I made the material transition.